Kia ora and thanks for joining us for today's Makerspace STEM activity. We're going to be making a double helix DNA model. DNA is a double stranded helix. The double helix ladder of a DNA molecule is held together by rows of chemical pairs called bases. The nucleotides making up DNA are A, T, C and G. Remember, all tigers can growl. So our A bases are paired with the T's, the C's are paired with the G's, which you will see from our colours and their pairings in our model. Our tape represents the phosphate backbone. Let's begin. These are the materials that you will need. First of all, we're measuring out a rectangle of approximately 20 centimetres by 5 centimetres, marking off every centimeter. We'll draw up the rectangle marking off the centimeters at the bottom and then drawing a line between the top and the bottom. It doesn't have to be exact. Now draw a line through the center just two and a half centimetres. And then you have two options. You can either cut out the individual pieces and colour them, or you can cut out half of the pieces in one block as a block and colour them separately. It'll make sense in a moment. So this is the first option. Cut them as they are. You will need two sets. A set of yellow and green and a set of pink and blue. The other option is to leave it as a block. And what we could have done when we were first drawing up and after we had cut out is draw another line through the centre. It may take a little bit longer using the individual technique, but decide what works best for you. Remember, you need to colour both sides. And make sure the green is on the green side and the yellow is on the yellow side. Let's see how quickly we can colour it in when we're just using a block. Because I didn't mark the line in the middle, I'm just doing that now.
and now quick as you like we can cut those pieces maintaining the pairs Now let's put everything together and here we're going to use some electrical tape. Electrical tape is quite elastic so when you pull it out it will contract so let it do that and lay it flat. Cut off an appropriate length for the number of pairs that you have. Lay them down approximately four centimeters apart. That will give you enough overlap to lay your strips and have them make contact with the tape. The strips need to be parallel. Lay them as carefully as you can on the tape. You may need to adjust the width to cope. Now it's time to put the other side of the tape across the other electrical tape. This can be pretty tricky. Remember, allow the tape to contract before you try to attach it to the other piece. Now do the other side. Now put some tape on the ends flip it over and then do the other end and then we're done. 